Wait, wait, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Arsenal are actually bottling it. Nah, 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 nah. No ways, man. Come on. City, they, I swear they agreed City win the UCL and Arsenal win the Premier League. I don't want City to win the Premier League again, bro. I'm sorry if you're a City fan in the chat right there, bro. You guys have been winning it. Just try to win the UCL, something different, you know? Even though I'm a United fan, I do want Arsenal to win. This is something different, you know? But, um, yeah, I know we're not going to win. But, yeah, we did win our game, though. However, boys, how are you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing well. It is a... So, today's Sunday, actually, yeah. Um, hopefully, your weekend was good, man. If you guys want the best coins, use MMO EXP. It is a fast, quick process. Get the most reliable FIFA 23 FUD coins by using code META. You can save yourself 5%. Link is at the top of my description. MMO EXP, that is. Jump over to the first person that commented on my latest video. If you want to get featured, all you got to do is comment. Be the first to comment. And I will shout you out a small incentive. Shout out Christian for being the very first guy, man. Absolute legend. Christian, Dylan, Danny Hazik. You guys know yourselves, man. Ryan, thank you so much. Complete edit as well. FIFA Zill is another good one. You guys have absolutely shown the most immense support for me, man. And I cannot appreciate it enough. Thank you all, boys. And I always say it, man. But yeah, boys, today we do, and girls, today we do have the most meta players in each position now this is a series whereby i basically collect i uh p pick picked pinpointed or picked the, the best possible players in each position now ranging from cheap to medium that's one category and medium to expensive in each of their respective positions if you are new hit that like subscribe do all that good stuff for your boy right there we are jumping over to the very first one it is the goalkeepers now boys as you can see right here goalkeepers um is very very hit or miss man just have tall keepers i always say it i've actually made a series where i stated each um position so i went goalkeepers in one uh, video the center backs in one video right backs left backs so if you want to check that out and uh, actually see me pinpoint each of those cards in their respective positions then you can check that that out but um this is more or less one inclusive video whereby i state all the players man so i think it's easier to watch this video right there man so yeah and you guys seem to like it as well a lot but um jump over to the keepers man you got Katoa, probably one of the better goalkeepers in the game van der Sar, same thing goes with him we got a cheap absolute beast card lafont uh very good value card right there we got dudek new card they added i don't think he's all that great because of the uh low height but i do think in game though it just depends on how the player plays so just try it out see uh so it depends on if they link or not that's also another big factor if i was to choose probably the best keeper i'd say for value it's obviously lafont and the best keeper overall it's between van der and couture however you can pause the page see i wanna I'm not gonna um obviously uh, stay too long on this page because it's goalkeepers you know and i didn't even make a medium to expensive ranged uh right there prices because most of them are cheap, except for Vandersaar, bro. This man's like, 1.14 keeper is crazy. Jump over to the next one. It is these center backs that are cheap to medium now. I feel like center backs in this game, you need to have them over 80 pace, man. Because you need to catch up to all these new cards they're adding. I mean, have you guys seen this Adel Glish for 50k, bro? When in FIFA have you seen in, just before June, there is icons that are meta for 50k bro do you know how insane that is so yeah we are jumping over to the center backs now obviously the bench players uh they're not on the bench for a reason it's just because uh, i needed space right there if that makes sense so we got puyol now some would say he's not conventional center back in terms of meta but i would say this card in game is amazing trust me on that man if you use him you will know exactly what i'm talking about like you don't really, really need that much pace now i did say you need to have over uh, 80 pace so i am kind of going against my statement but this card in terms of value is so good bro like his defense and physical makes up for that if that makes sense so just add a shadow and he will actually have a nice or increased pace split but uh we got bobby moore a better card than obviously Puyol. 150k is actually cheaper now what i like about body uh, bobby moore man said body what i like about body moore <laughs> is his agility and balance is very very nice for center back that's a so main factor and also if they have at least above four star weak foot because obviously the direct passing you need them to pass effectively because sometimes man if you don't have good passing on center backs oof boys you can get counted really nicely right there but uh, we got ledley king now i did actually up the price in terms of this series because we approaching that time of fifa where a lot of people are acquiring coins uh they're acquiring spcs etc etc i feel like uh yeah there's a lot of coins right there to be made uh and very very uh quickly as well so we got ledley king now 246k uh say it how you uh want but i think that's medium price do you know what i mean like still very very nice card in game as well uh did he actually improve in terms of because obviously these cards upgrade if i'm not mistaken so four star weak foot very nice card pace split is a little bit on the downside with the acceleration but if you add 
Nothing at chem style configs, as I always like to say. But add a shadow and look at his pace, man. It's looking, it's looking nice. It's giving, bro. But uh, yeah, we jump over to the obviously other center backs. Maldini was free now. Obviously, for the guys that um, don't have coins, you can obviously still use that Maldini. But I don't think he's available now. So cheers, Jeff, for me adding him. Because why would I add him when he's not available right now as an objective? But I still like to add some cards, you know, just to give it that aspect. Um, like, I think this Marquez came out long ago and he's still so good. You know what I mean? Like, this Hummels as well is very, very nice. But yeah, that is this cheap center back. Pause the page if, uh, page if you want. The Sassi, though, is probably up there with the best cheap center back in the game. I absolutely love this card. If you want to saw a fun team, get this Millennial team, man. 88 pace, bro. And he feels amazing in game. So if you're obviously rocking an MLS team and not a sweaty, ratty team, can get your guy there. We jump over to the uh, medium to expensive. Now, this is more or less the expensive uh, page for center backs. Now, boys, this is expensive, man. We've got the likes of Nesta. Man, is like 700k, bro. For Nesta, is crazy. Like, I think because of the increased agility and balance, I think. That's the main uh, aspect. So in-game, is not too bad. So if you packed him from the 90-plus pack, I don't think he's a bad card at all. I think he's actually quite good, man. And I've actually versed him. Most of these cards are versed and used. So please don't be in the comments and say, Mike, you haven't um, used them or tried them. Why are you stating about them? But bro, please. I've used most of them. I've used a lot of loan cards. Like 39 in crazy card. This Blanc apparently is probably one of the better center backs in the game in terms of value. So try get this card in your team. 82 pace. Add a shadow. This man can actually go to see him. Funny enough. He's 300k, bro. And Blanc, I, I actually do like that because... He was a crazy player back in his time. Uh, same thing goes for Desai. He's solid. I have him. I actually packed him. Uh, what a card this guy is, bro. Like, one thing I must say, his aggression is brilliant in game, bro. Like, this man catches up to Mbappe, bro. Like, if you if you can read the game, right, and you basically run with Desai, bro, you're going to catch up to anyone. Literally, like, if you're playing a three back and he's like your central center back, you're going to do well, bro. Trust me. Very, very nice card. Uh, we got likes of Lucio. Do I need to state more? 2.2 more for a reason. Van Dyke. I don't like, like to add the conventional meta center backs. Sorry, sorry, players in general, because a lot of people will be like, Mike, where is Haaland, bro? Everybody knows his, his meta, bro. You know, when, I, when we go to strikers, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, like you boys all know these cards are good. You know, Vidic, insane. Mateus is a center back, not bad, but he's a little bit short, so I don't know why I added him. That's probably one of the, the other ones. I, I don't know why I added, but yeah. Baresi, though. Please, let's look at this card quickly. 460k. Very nice pace split now. Shadow makes him nice. 99, 99, 99 in defense. This card is going to be amazing in game. I can just see it, bro. Average body type, if you had high and average, would be nice. Would be nice. But yeah. Jump over to the next one. It is the cheap to medium left backs slash right backs. Boys and girls, this is probably the most vital position in your team if you are running a full back. Now, if you're even running a four back and then in game you go to a three back and you play like the right uh, backs and left backs as like your CMs or right mids and left mids, then by all means, man, these are the type of cards you need to have in your team. You got the likes of Davies, you got Mendy. Uh, I didn't include him because everybody knows his meta. Um, I don't know why I included Gold Davies though, but I, just to take up space to be fair frimpong we got melee right there if you pronounce his name like that very difficult name to pronounce uh so good luck typing that in the transfer market but we got spence di lorenzo the new one they added he is actually a team of the week that came out this year uh, sorry this week this year came out this week a uh, very very good card i feel like his card has been good since the dawn of time bro like if you look at his other info and his gold card he was good man even if you're rocking a serial team but uh yeah we look move over to the junior fur bro 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 this five star skilled left back is a beast in game now he obviously has the left footed dribbling so he's like kind of like dembele so if you do a a elastico it will be a reverse elastico if that makes sense so it's a little bit weird but he's such a good five star skiller man get him in your team if you did not get him but yeah he was i don't think he's available anymore but <laughs> he is still amazing bro trust me very very nice card but we got alex tellez you guys already know man good pace good passing either four star weak foot five star skill moves etc etc uh it's always nice to have at least one aspect of skill moves or weak foot for the fullbacks you know because they flank they cross they do the german crosses um they have to be fast etc etc munia as well very nice card very versatile can play cm in game five star five star if you like your big lanky players hey, yo. this is the player for you man so yeah definitely meta cards right there so yeah jump on to the next one it is the medium to expensive fullbacks now 
Need I say more? Sometimes when I approach these pages, I'm like, what do I have to speak about, bro? You can just see the beauty of these cards through your screen. <laughs> but now, nah, boys, like, let's be honest, man. Lorente can play right back, uh, if you don't know. Quadrado was amazing SPC. Was a bit, actually was very good value, in my opinion. Zanetti, I play him at CM. I played him at right back one game. I was actually astonished at how good he was at right back. Caught up to players, had good physical. Very, very nice. You can actually play Adam Militao at right back. You know what I mean? I love the new position modifier, man. Uh, system right there in FIFA. It's it's nice. That's one, one thing they made. They done right. You know what I mean? Mendy, Malasia, Davies, Robertson. Very, very nice card still. Five star skills is always nice. Uh, Hernandez is always going to be meta. And by the way, boys, don't spend too much coins on these positions. I, I feel like spend coins on the more attacking um, positions. Because I feel like sometimes, especially approaching Tots, it's, it's not viable, man. Because uh, these cards will go down in price. Trust me on that. Just a bit of a word of advice, you know, from the trader Mike. I'm not a trader at all, but yeah, you get you get what I'm saying. Though. We got Akimi, we got obviously Kapita, which is an SPC now. And one thing I would say is he can play center back. He is a solid center back because of the increased pace split. You got insane defense. One thing about him, though, uh, was aggression, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 79 aggression is a little bit low. Nothing like him style can't fix, though. Unless it can. Yeah, yeah, a chem style can fix it, though. Anchor. Boys, get an anchor on him and he will be amazing at center back. Um, now, is he a better center back than a right back? Completely up to you, man, however you play him. I do feel like he will be a better right back because obviously defense, pace, etc, etc. But uh, yeah, jump into my favorite category. It, ca category? Category. It is the CDM, CMs, and CAMs. Uh, now, this is the cheap to medium now. We got some objectives, some SPCs that were cheap, etc, uh, etc. Et we got Sanchez finally coming down in price. I've always included this guy, or missed him actually, because he was such a low-rated card that was expensive. Um, and I don't think the value was that good, but he's still a good card in-game. Very, very nice stats, and very, very solid right there, man. In-game, he'll be amazing for you. Payet, still viable to this day. To this day, amazing card. Sancho, very, very nice. Um, Shabby Alonso was obviously the CDM. I do think the um, power curve, in terms of meta, I like to always say, is going to hit Shabby Alonso and those type of cards, because... There's going to be better cards for the price, a uh, bit of value cards. There's going to be better five-star skillers. Uh, five, like you got the likes of Gattuso, which edges him a little bit in, uh, because of the, um, what is it, the five-star skills. So you get what I'm saying. But you got the likes of these cards finally coming down in price. The Yaya Torres, the Marquisios, bro. If you are starting an RTG right now, it is the perfect time because, my word, you can get literally like for 300k, you can get the best CMs in the game, bro. In my opinion, I feel like, they will still be amazing in game, bro. Like pros will still use these cards, you know what I mean? But uh, we got obviously Gerard, which was added newly right there. We got five star weak foot on him. Very very nice card. I feel like in game, the uh, step overs and even just his physical and he's uh, obviously a little bit tall in game. You'll be amazing, bro. At CM, trust me, man. Even if you're playing like a four three two one at LCM, you'll be a very very nice flanking player. In terms of him being like a box-to-box -box CM, the long shots, the travailers, etc. Same thing goes for Lampard. He was a objective card, so obviously he's going to be um, freeze free, so he will be in the cheap to medium because it's free. But uh, Toliso, Rabio were obviously the fat birthdays, very, very nice, solid cards. A good one as well is the um, Gwindozi, which is in the expensive one. So yeah, these cards, I still think, I think they're very, very... That's a reasonable price, man. We got actually this Fabian, which went up in price. I do like this card, man. 160k, 4-star, four 4-star. Four uh, it didn't go up in price, so in terms of stats, he went up. Now, if you add a shadow, this man is looking insane, bro. Like, look at that card, 460k. 4-star, four 4-star. Four I feel like that card, if he's in Prem, he's easily like 500k, bro. Do you know what the Prem tag? So, yeah, jump up to the next one. It is the CDM CM cams that is medium to expensive. Now, we are looking at probably one of the best best bro and i mean like best positions in the game like these cards or most vital positions like man oh man if you have these cards in your team bro like they link the defense to attack sometimes they score sometimes they defend etc etc you can get these cms like marquisio that do all the above yeah yeah sorry going dozy five star skills one you got pogba kante you got the likes of obviously keen which was newly added 93 defense and 83 pace, bro. You add this man in your team, add a shadow. You will absolutely love him. He's actually an in-game card. Most of these cards are, bro. Like, you got Park Ji Sung as well. Very, very nice, fun card. Um, you know, we love that aspect in FIFA. We got Neymar, always going to be meta, man. You got Essien. For 300k, you can get yourself 
the best Essien. When in FIFA have we ever come to that, bro? Like, come on, man. That is insane. And obviously, the better Lampard, which is 400k currently. He looks insane, man. Four star, four star. I'm loving that, bro. You can build nice past and present teams, which is always a very, very nice shout, man. But uh, yeah, we all know, obviously, Vera, Vera. We all know, like, Root Hullets and stuff. And also, the team of the years, I forgot to add, is meta. So I didn't add them. I hate, obviously, speaking the same thing over and over again. That's why I like to add different cards as well. But I do leave in the comments and I will tell you if they are meta or not. I'm sure you guys would know they're meta. Don't go in the comments and say, Mike, where's Root Hullet, bro? Man is meta. Bro, I'll be like, nah. I'll, I'll delete your comment, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but I jump on to the next one. It is the uh, me uh, cheap to medium wingers. Now, I'm going to say straight up the off the bat, there's not that much great cheap to medium, man. It's Most of them are expensive. But if you were to include them, there's these cards right here, which... I wouldn't say they meta, yes, but they're mediocre, bro. Like, in the future, you have to upgrade them. Uh, like, Olise, bro, very, very bad shooting. Very, very nice card in terms of transitioning, like, getting on the flanks, etc., etc. Very, very nice card right there. He looks like that one actor, bro. Tell me I'm wrong, though. I could be wrong. I don't know what that actor's name is, bro. But uh, I need to get that guy's name. But yeah, Bino Giddens, very, very nice. Bamba, now, this card was the best valued uh, winger, in my opinion. Five-star skills is always nice. And he's team of the season. If he did play well, I don't think he played well because he doesn't have any informs. Even though that's not a clear indication if a player played well. But Bamba's nice. Bamba's nice, trust me. Very, very nice card. Gonzalez, five-star weak foot's always nice. A solid, solid option right there for anyone's team. Cole, now, this is, in my opinion, the best valued winger as well. 70k for a four-star, four-star Cole. Very nice stats. In game, he feels amazing. High and medium and short and lean. Now, short and lean may seem, uh, sorry, cannot speak, makes him amazing in terms of turning, bro. Like, this card is going to be amazing with the left stick dribbling. We'll feel like a messy, bro. But uh, yeah, we got Asus and Felix still actually in the power curve. Uh, the Winter Wild card. Very good promo. Always is. But yeah, jump over to the most expensive. I'd say they are not cheap. These cards are not cheap, bro. The all medium price, like <laughs> most, I, I don't even think anyone is medium price. They actually did say they were going to release a Figo soon. So do bear in mind, yes, five star skills as well. Very nice card. We got Perez as well, which is never meta in any FIFA, but he's got five star skills. Now, that's what I like about this FIFA is you can use these cards now because obviously they are transitioning into the meta field uh, right there. So it's nice, man. It's nice. Beckham, more of a CM, but can play him winger. You know, imagine cutting in. This man is still 4 mil coins, by the way. Imagine cutting in and absolutely travailing, finessing, scoring long shots will be such a nice... You know, just trying to replicate what happened in real life into the game of FIFA. That's what I like in Ultimate Team, man. I hate using the same players like Jorginho's, the Mbappe's. Like, try, try to be different sometimes, boys. You know, maybe use an Anthony. Like, yes, it's meta, but just, just be different, you know. I hate using the same players, man. Like, each weekend league, I actually like change up my team use different players etc so it's always nice to just try them out you know uh but yeah we got kill we got likes of Morris, ella warren always gonna be better the catalier which is still amazing to this day man he's 300k he was an spc or objective i th no he was obviously an spc but he was amazing bro like this card from in my opinion is still uh like viable to this day because i versed him this weekend and i was like who the hell is this bro very very nice card but yeah rivaldo the team of the seasons will beat him. So don't really do him if you don't want him as a sentimental card. But I definitely think the team of the seasons approaching like, I think May. I think it's like the 5th of May is going to be much better than this card, if that makes sense. But he's still decent in game, trust me. But uh, the very last category is the cheap to medium CF slash strikers now. These are the absolutely creme de la creme cards of your team. Boys, you need at least some of these cards in your team. Bro, like this Donovan... He is 40k, right? And he is such a beast for me. I'm actually going to do a, a short, a YouTube short on him. Because uh, he's probably one of the best valued cards in my opinion, bro. Insane card. We got Del Piero, Clivert. We got all these cards for mostly under 200k. Do you know how crazy that is? But my word, this is very, very nice. Just to speak about these cards, man. And also like Alan Shearer, bro. I, I actually wanted him, man. Like his price is now, right now. And uh, bro, I wanted this card. It was 20 tokens. It was a lot, right? But it's such a nice, fun card to use, especially if you watched him back in the day and you want to replicate that, you know? Five-star skills is also a nice aspect. That, that For me, that's what gets me every time, bro, is the five-star skills for any card. But uh, we got Burkamp, which was a, a free objective. We got Santa Cruz, free objective. Van Buster. now this card, in my opinion, looks absolutely phenomenal due to the fact that he has 99 finishing. Man has 99 finishing with that pace. So if you add an engine, right? 
Look at that card, bro. A 95 rated striker for 141k. What more do I need to say, bro? Five star weak foot is nice, yes, but three star skills, it doesn't really matter. Do step overs and ball roll. Stop crying. Use this type of cards and you will have amazing, amazing fun. High and average body type as well is amazing. If you used Balotelli, you'll be like that. Trust me, this card is so good. I still use him to this day. Very, very nice card. But um, yeah, we got Werner, Al Sharawi. You guys know the conventional strikers. You've versed them in champs. You've uh, used them. I've, I've stated them in past series or episodes of this series. And uh, yeah, we jump over to the very last one. And it is the CF slash strikers, the medium to expensive. And my word, these are solid cards. <laughs> now you won't see, you will see Ronaldo being meta. Yes, conventional meta. You won't see the Mbappes, etc. Because I needed to have room for all these other cards that I wanted to state. Like Mbappe, I think um, he's always going to be meta. I don't need to state that. So please don't go in the comments and say, Mike, where's Mbappe? Where's Haaland, Team of the Year, or Benzema? Because then I'll just ignore you. Which, yeah, I don't want to do that, but I have to, bro. <laughs> but uh, jump on to the next one. It is the, uh, so well, the same one. It is 360k for Firmino, bro. I looked at this card and I was like, my word, you can pick up this card. He will be amazing. Even because of the five-star skills. So his body type is so good in game because he has unique. Now, if you've used a unique body type player that is faster skills, you will know exactly. So as my inverter goes off, you will know exactly what type of card this is, bro. Oh my days, a solid, solid option for anyone's team. So we got Del Glish, insane card. 1.5 mil is crazy. But you know why? Because of the five star, five star. Very, very nice card. We got Burkamp, five star skills. Best valued, probably one of the best valued cards we've seen. 300k. Five star skills. Use him in game. You'll see how amazing he is. Cantona, we all know, is meta. Four land is nice. 400k for four land is, is crazy, bro. Four star, four star. This Torres, oh my word. I used him the other day and I could not believe how good he was. I was versing insane teams, right? And I subbed him on. I was using loans, yes. But my word, this card is amazing. So for anyone's team, if you have a mull and you want a proper striker, get your man Torres in the team, bro. Trust me. Griezmann, 5-star, five 5-star. Five Nkunku, 5-star, five 5-star. Five Rahul did a play review on him. Do check it out. But yeah, that is the video, boys. Hope you guys do enjoy. Please do hit that like. Subscribe. Tell me if you've used some of these cards, if I've missed the card. Hopefully, I haven't because I actually spent a lot of time, obviously, acquiring all of these cards for the certain categories. But yeah, I've been a boy, Meta Mike. Smash like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, do check out MMOXP if you want to actually use some of these cards. Thanks so much, boys. Have a sweet one, man. Peace.